Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. I'm Ranita, the Ecliptic Spiritualist, and I want to get into this wonderful new moon bedtime bathing ritual that I want to bring to you that will help you, assist you in this wonderful new moon energy. It's all about the water, about the tide, and about healing and cleansing. Now, this new moon in Cancer is coming through for us on the uh, 9th, July the 9th through the 10th. It's actually a start of a new lunar cycle. And just like the moon can begin again, so can we, so can we. So this new, this new moon is bringing in the opportunity to wipe the slate clean, start fresh, and to set things from a new perspective. It is an opportunity to release, release old and focus on new that's emerging and getting us ready for 2022, all right? So this bedtime bathing ritual is a quick DIY, easy spell on yourself, does with self-care, cleansing, and so much more. This ritual, ritual can be done in the evening time, right before bed. Um, you can do it anytime between July the 8th through the 18th. I recommend um, reading the ritual as well in depth on the website underneath our blog okay it is there at https double colon slash slash equipmentspiritualist7.com what will you need so you're going to need some cleansing tools which can be um, dry or flat fresh um, you can start off using an incense to cleanse um, the air using the air element those that are in our master classes learning about all the elements and setting our casting our circles and covering ourselves as practitioners join us with our master class um i'm using the moon and sent to go along with what the moon the new moon you can use your favorite dry or fresh um herbs to cleanse with now you can that you want to make your bath you can use lavender calendrola a calandra flower, marigold is that color. I'll show you mine in a minute. Um, you can use um, a little bit of sage, eucalyptic, lemon slices, orange cloves, um, rose petals, um, lavender. I used a little bit of orange um, essentials. You can also include, if you like, and I use sea salt. You can also include in your cinnamon. I did not include it in mines. It's a hot, very hot element, so you have to be careful in the amount of cinnamon that you use if you choose to add that to your bath, especially in your skin areas of sensitivity. Now, here is mines that I made. As you can see, all the herbs are there. You can see um, the lavender, so much. Okay, now this is my bathing. Uh, my bathing herbs that I'm using okay um, you can make your own I made my own mine is also charged with the element as well I do make these randomly on my site um, purchase but right now this is your DIY all right you can add your favorite crystal the crystal that I'll be using I don't have it present with me is moonstone because I want you to use your own thought process and Go scan over your crystals if you have them and pick one for your, your work. You can also choose a meditation that you like, whatever music that you like. You can choose that to add. You want to make sure that you have a clean set of a t-shirt or pajamas or any light color or do. Or you can do, you can also go to bed um, with no clothes on and that way you're your body is fresh, but it needs to be white or very light colors. You want to also make sure that you have your journal for the next morning and a pen. Now, in this bath ritual, is you want to do it in the evening. You want to start with whatever medita meditation that you're using. Um, you want to make sure it's part of a healing frequency to embody the using of certain positions of your hands so it is easy for you to relax and follow along. And you want to prep yourself with that okay once your meditation is complete this, this is before you do your bath you want to get into your bath and shower or shower I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute ingredients ready now before you do a ritual such as this you always do 
a shower first. You cleanse your body first because this is a ritual bath, not a cleansing bath with soap. So you soap yourself, lather up first, then do your bath, okay? Now, whatever herbs you decide to select, your cleansing herbs that resonate with you as you, again, you see mines. I have mines in my handy dandy jar, but I keep mines. And you can see what I use a lot. <laughs> okay, now um, you can use that, have your herbs handy. Uh, select whatever herbs that you want. You can use a combination of herbs if you see me done. Just go with your instincts, okay? Go with your instincts. Um, use what you have on hand as well. Combine all your herbs into a bowl and add a warm bath water. So you're going to have your bath water in your tub and then you're going to pour your cleansing herbs into it. If you don't have a bathtub, all right, you can mix your herbs with a water in a jug to pour over yourself in your shower. Feel free to make your bath as relaxing as possible with candles when you're in your bath, um, music, and maybe even some fresh fruit mm -mm -mm, and chocolate. Now, what I'm doing, always extra, <laughs> and we should be extra for ourselves, right? I am using for my uh, candle, I'll be using watermelon candle. It is the summer. Yes, I love watermelon. So this is one of my scents that I'm going to be having. And uh, if you can smell it, it's delightful. So I'll be having watermelon candles. My fruit is going to be watermelon. And comment down below what you're going to be picking. And so that's going to be my fruit. And I'll probably add some uh, blueberries with that. But I'm going to be chilling, doing the thing. All right? Because that's how we do. Now, as you bathe yourself... Repeat the following mantra nine times, okay? You will also repeat this mantra as you blend all your herbs, blending your herbs as well. So I've already did that with mine, but you're going to say this mantra, blending it with your hands or using a wooden spoon. You're going to be doing it clockwise because you're sending that energy in. You're surging it. You're charging it. Yes. Now, here we go. Here's the mantra. The power of these herbs are going to cleanse, nourish, and restore my soul. May they draw out the things that need to go and replenish the energy of my mind, body, and soul. Now, you're going to enjoy your bath and shower for as long as you like. <laughs> Once you have completed your bath or shower, change into a clean white pajamas or even into a white t-shirt, either a light color. Um, that's for purification. It will help you to continue the cleansing process as you sleep. If you don't have any of these things as far as white to wear, you may sleep in the nude or choose another light color all right, of closing. Get ready for bed. Yes, get ready for bed. Take your crystal of choice with you and hold it in your hands to recite the following. Or you can write your own, okay? So you're going to recite with your crystal, all right? Now, if you hold your crystal in your hand or whatever one you select, again, I'll be using a moonstone, but you use what you're guided to use. This is all about the practice. It's a guide. I'm your guide, your spiritual guide. is no wrong or right way. You create God or goddess. You create practitioner. Let's get it. Here's the mantra. As I sleep, may I receive clarity on. State whatever you would like to receive the clarity on. As I sleep, I would like to wake up feeling, and you want to list three emotions. As I sleep, I ask my divine spirit team to help cleanse and recharge and nourish my soul. So I feel aligned on my highest path, and I know the best next step to take. As I sleep, I ask that I am restored from head to toe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Place the crystal under your pillow or somewhere close to your bed. The next step is easy. Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep. But before you do that, make sure you leave your journal and pen by your bedside, okay? So you can get it first thing in the morning. And as you wake up in the morning, take your journal, begin 
um, writing down the first things that come to your mind. You can write down any dreams you had, how you're feeling behind this beautiful ritual, or any other thoughts that appear. For best results, for best results, try to write three to four pages back in front without lifting your pen off the paper. Just keep writing, all right? Even if it doesn't make sense or you have to write gibberish, just go with the flow. You may just find some surprising messages or insights in your words, or you will feel a big power shift. Be gentle with yourself, most importantly. Be gentle with yourself for the remainder of the day and be sure to drink lots of water. Sleep with the crystal by your bed for the next three nights before cleansing it. You can choose to keep your journal and write in it, a journal writings that you did, or you can tear it up. The choice is yours, okay? Now, uh, make sure to not reuse your herbs that you used, okay? Don't try to reuse them. It's now old energy, so you want to go on and discard it and return it to the earth. You can put it outside. This is very uh, biogradable. Whatever you choose, you can pour it into the river. You can take it to the ocean or to the river or to a pond and give it back to the earth and give it back to Gia. Give it back to the goddesses or gods over that area or whatever way you feel guided, okay? I love you for watching today. Have a wonderful, happy new moon in Cancer. Hit that bell to get all notifications and hit the bell for to subscribe here to the channel. I love you for watching today. And don't forget to contact us for psychic therapeutic readings as well as contact us for ritual work. We have an altar visual going on right now. Um, we have a lot of work that you can do that will help insist in your practice. We offer master classes, so much and more. Check us out on our website at https double colon slash slash ecliptic spiritualist seven dot com. Love you so much. Continue to grow and go with us. I will see you later. Bye bye.